Hey! Oh, Rocket Chick Roger! Hello there! Yesterday, I shared a video with you folks about an email that I received from a friend, uh, a subscriber, and I've talked about uh, anti-gringo sentiment compared Mexico to compared to Ecuador. And I, you know, I, I shouldn't have done that. I took the video down and because uh, the person that I shared it with was pretty harsh you know, on him, and she didn't really mean anything by that. She didn't know uh, that I was going to be <laughs> sharing her her opinion, you know, her analysis of his his assessment of the uh, anti-gringo sentiment in Mexico. And, and, of course, then I tried to compare it to Ecuador, and it was completely wrong. I, I shouldn't have done that at all. I apologized to him, and I apologized to her, and I took the video down. But the point that I want to make is that that there, there is, in my opinion, there is no anti-gringo uh, sentiment here in in Ecuador. These people are very humble. They're very polite. They're very kind. They got great senses of humor. They don't. Some of them don't really understand sarcasm like we do. But you know, it's like there, it, there is. They like they like us being here. You know, and I don't feel like there's. I mean. Granted, there is the exception, okay? There's no denying that they're going to run across the occasional person that might uh, give you that impression that they don't really want you here, you know? But that's, that's going to happen in any society, okay? Anywhere you go. So uh, I just wanted to clear that up, all right? I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression. I, I, there are things that I don't like about living here, but I love this country, and, and I love the people here. I just, you know, I'm just picky, I, and I just wish things were better, and I can't help them. I can't do anything, you know? So, you know, that's why I feel sometimes the way I feel. It puts me in a grumpy mood sometimes, but it is what it is. This is a wonderful country. It, it has its problems, but they're getting fixed, okay? I'm still here. I've been here three years, so, and I don't really have any plans of going anywhere right now. Somebody over there. Pardon me. Hola. Como esta? I was going to say, Como esta esta mañana? And it still is mañana. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to share with you, I got a new watch today, and it still has a plastic thing on the front. I just now realized. A little plastic shield there. All right. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked about shipping stuff to here, here, and a lot of people know that I like to buy from Amazon, and and there's been a lot of questions raised about can you buy from Amazon and have it shipped to Ecuador? Well, yeah, you can, and but there's also, and 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 I also discovered that I don't really pay any much less or more than I would pay if I shipped or bought from Amazon and had it shipped to the my U.S. shipping company piece of crap company in Florida that I absolutely will never use again uh, that's a whole nother video uh, and and then wait for them to get it here while they lollygag around with your stuff you know and taking their time but anyway so you know I thought there's got to be a better way just buy direct from Amazon and have it shipped direct well you can do that there is once you put in your your email or your address then you go to Amazon, you're at Amazon Ecuador, okay? And you don't get all the same products that we get in the United States, okay? But anyway, somebody else suggested to me that I should try Tienda Mia. Tienda Mia, when you go to the Tienda Mia website, and I'll put a, a link to it right here. When you go to their website, and I'll put a link in the description. When you go to their website, you'll see Amazon on there. And you can buy products, and it's, it's, it's from here. To give you an example I happened I made a purchase last week on the ninth the ninth day of this month I made a purchase I bought this watch right here this fossil watch five days ago five days ago 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, six days ago I bought this watch right here 
It's a fossil watch, you know. It's a little, not a very expensive watch. I think I paid a hundred and let's see, what did I pay for it? Uh, I, I paid a hundred and fifteen dollars for it, and as you can see from the video where I'm unwrapping it, that it has a tag on it that says a hundred and seventy dollars. But I only paid a hundred and fifteen dollars U.S. for it, and I only paid eighteen dollars and forty nine cents shipping and handling. That was it. There was, there was, and I guess that include taxes. There is no tax on here. But I ordered this watch on the 9th, and on the 9th, on that same day, I received the confirmation from Tendamia, okay, uh, for the order. I paid for it with PayPal, because I always like to pay for, use PayPal when there's, you know, any uh, risk involved, you know, and then if I have any trouble, it's easy to get PayPal to, to get the money back so I always use PayPal for that safety factor I on the same day I received a confirmation from PayPal I received confirmation of payment I also received notice of the estimated delivery of 514 and they say to the warehouse now I'm not sure what they mean by that but when it says when arrived at the warehouse I should get a notice of when it will be delivered to me okay so keep in mind I ordered this on the 9th they promised the delivery date of 514 to the warehouse okay and then it has to get from the warehouse to me so what happened was on the 12th I received a notice that the product was on the way to to customs okay and then on the 14th yesterday I received notice that the product was delivered to the warehouse and then today when I got back from the mall just about an hour ago I got on the elevator and the elevator stopped on Planta Baja, which is PB1, and there was my guard standing there with my watch in the package that you see me unwrapping here. So I was very happy with that. It took five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, five, six days, and I got it here. I ordered it here, and it came from somewhere here, and I'm happy. I'm happy with it, you know? So let's see what else I want to talk to you about. It's not as windy today, as you can tell. Let's see if my camera will follow me around here a little bit. I got this gimbal, and it has, I have it set to where it follows me. And so I'm gonna walk around here, and you can see in the background, that building right there is Scorpio. And this building right here, I can't pronounce the name of it, but it's on the same street as mine. I think it's like, I think it's like 13 floors. Or, oh, hell, I don't know. Uh, Scorpio is 21 floors, and most of it is each floor is a whole complete unit. And then let's see here. We'll walk around this way. It's going to follow my face. This is pretty cool. Uh, then coming on around this way, and there, let's see. There is Oceania, okay, right there. And, of course, the port's right there. And as you can probably tell, I'm on top of my building. As a matter of fact, my apartment is, I'm walking on the top of my apartment. But this, and this, so if I go all the way around, <laughs> let's see how much, how far this thing will follow me. I keep on going around here. Here you get the, well, no, it stops right there. You, you miss out on the lovely view of all of our air conditioners. These are all the air conditioning compressors that I get to hear kick on at night sometimes from when I'm trying to sleep. So anyway, that's it, folks. I just, uh, I wanted to clear the air on that business about the the green anti-gringo sentiment. There is none here. I also want to say again, you know, in spite of what you've heard the news about violence and the unrest and all that kind of stuff, things are really, really settled down. We're not getting any more crime than we normally get here in this country, okay? And most of the crimes, especially the bad ones, the shootings have all been cartel, drug related, gang related. They all, you know, let them all shoot each other, you know? They'll probably now, they'll probably come after me for saying that, but anyway, let them, all right? So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, leave a comment below, okay? And tell me you didn't like it. I'm not going to do any more of this bite me stuff. I'm getting kicked back on that. So I'm not going to do that anymore. So that's it. Okay. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.